In a house in a remote valley in Wales, Gwyn, Roger and Alison have found themselves caught up in the ancient legend of Bladuith, who was created out of flowers as a wife for Hugh. She fell in love with Gronu Pebir, Lord of Pentlin, who murdered Hugh with a spear flung from the top of the Bryn. Hugh, magically restored to life, then similarly killed Gronu from the Bryn with a spear which pierced a standing stone by the river. Another strange photograph taken by Roger seems to refer to a former owner of the house, Bertram, who had a love affair with Gwyn's mother, the housekeeper Nancy. Before Nancy and he could marry, he was killed in an accident on his vintage motorcycle. Gwyn suspects that Hugh the gardener knows the answers, but Hugh speaks in riddles. Roger's father, Clive, is puzzled by strange noises coming from behind a padlocked door in the stable yard. The key is missing, and Clive's questions about it have provoked Nancy into giving 48 hours' notice. Gwyn protests and is promptly told that he is not being allowed to stay on at school. When he then finds out that Alison has revealed his confidential secrets to Roger, Gwyn feels totally betrayed. He steals Roger's anorak, Alison's sweater, her mother Margaret's watch and some food and money and sets out to escape from the valley over the mountains. Do you mind? Ah, I've been looking for you both. Hello. You broke my concentration. No, we didn't. That thing's a cue, not a back scratcher. On the pink. of a misspent youth, that's what they say. Were you looking for us? Mm -hmm. Oh, yes. Tread a bit softly for the next couple of days, eh? There's good people. What are we supposed to have done? Look, I'm not bothered, but until old Nancy abdicates, things are a bit dicey. What's happened? Nothing. She's just playing it strictly by the book, that's all. I don't understand. Nancy's complained to Margaret about the kitchen being hers until she's worked out her notice. So no safaris, eh? Are you all right? Well, she says that the lard has been cleaned out of bread. And cheese. It wasn't me. No, me. I'm not worried. We stock up again tomorrow. Let's just weather the next couple of days, that's all. No, let's have it straight. Oh, not to worry. Look, it'll be that light-fingered beggar. She carts around with her. It will be Gwyn. I know he... well, he does take things. Does he? Wait a minute. Have you borrowed my anorak? No. I saw it wasn't in the cloakroom when we came in. If he's had it, I'll kick his teeth in. Leave it. It's not worth the fuss. We'll be rid the day after tomorrow. You're coming in to dinner? A thieving yob. I'll have a word with him tonight. I'll have more than a word. I'd stay clear. It's not worth a fuss. In case Margaret's upset, she'll just have to be upset. No, watch it. it. Watch it. Look, once bitten, twice shy. That's your motto, right, isn't upstairs. it? Upstairs. Up. If you decide that you're fit to take dinner with us, kindly see that you're ready by the gong. It's a civilized meal. We don't want any snotty-nosed kids who haven't learned their manners. Naturally. Father. Good night. I'm sorry about that. He'll apologize. Doesn't matter. Look, Princess, I'm the one who says whether or not it matters. Let's get that straight, shall we? Excuse me. Yes, what is it? Excuse me, I 
asking, sir. Is the boy here? Young Gwyn? That is right, sir. Well, I expect so. I think he may have gone for a walk. Oh. Yes? He's borrowed an anorak. Well, while you're here, I don't suppose you can find us another housekeeper, can you? Is she not good? I'm sorry for that. But she's given her notice. Didn't she tell you? They're leaving the day after tomorrow. She's not speaking to me. But is there anyone else, Half Bacon? No, sir. Now, excuse me. I must go working. Work? At this time? Don't you ever knock off? Yes, sir. Excuse me, sir. When is she leaving? That day. Oh, after breakfast. After breakfast? <laughs> well, 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 sir. Now look here, Half Bacon. You must understand that this overtime lark is entirely your own affair. If you think no, you can twist my arm for more no. wages, then you have come to the wrong place. Not job. at all, sir. Now, excuse me, I must go helping with finish a job, see. Good night, sir. Good night, my lady. Oh, these people give me the Jim Jams. You never know where you are with them. It's the same in business. You never get a straight answer. You never know whether they're being polite or just plain sarky. Yeah. We are united! We are united! Sodom all! We are united! Thanks for the watch, Mrs. Oh, Susan O'Reilly's bar one day, telling yarns of blood and slaughter. Suddenly a thought came into my head. Why not start O'Reilly's daughter? Yippee-i-yay, yippee-i-yay. Yippee-i-yay for the one-eyed Riley. Hey, Mrs. Bell, what are you doing? Don't you know I'm coming? and do it again. These boots are a bit of all right. I said these boots are a bit of all right. All right for you down there, is it? I'm done with you lot. If I were married in time, which thank the Lord I'm not the, the kind of man that I would wear to be a lovely fucker. And he strike hard, and I strike hard. We both strike hard together. We'd be all right in the middle of the night, striking hard together. We are united. We are united.
hell are you at? Lovely morning, isn't it? Leave me alone. It is indeed a lovely morning. Leave me alone. You come back over with me now, boy. Back to your own valley. I'm fine here. Well, we've all come here over the mountain to win Flynn. It is the place. But it is not your valley. I came here because I happened to come here. Reach into the track in the rock below you. Why? I will show you the chance in it. Okay. Feel to one side. Careful. Careful. Take out hand. Well? I'm sorry. This is the spear. This killed Celtal Guffers. A year he took to make it. Bruno Peber, Lord of Penflynn. This place. But it's older than them. It's very old. It was a long time ago. Mother? Mom? You did not know her. She was young and lovely. It was not a girl like Nancy. What? Her? Huh? So much harm through so much weakness. But my mom? She was the winds of April. Can I have it? Have you some to leave? Yes. At this time, all this is yours. Will you give that to Alison tomorrow? You give it, boy. I can't. Go on, it's better from you. No, tell her it's from me. You give it her. I can't, it's no good, man. Just give it her? Yeah. And say it's from me. Here, there's something else in there. You've got a long reach. Don't grab it. No. No, it's not my time to be looking there. What's this? This is a rubber and wire. What are they doing here? Rubber? That's not old. 
they like freaks. Hey, are these yours? Man, you did it like Mum said. You done it in Bartram. Mum said it was your fault, but I never believed her. He never had that old bike outside the ground. Up and down. That's all he ever did, making me jump out the way. And then he had my Nancy. And I thought I'd show him what it means to land in rhododendron, so I took out his brakes. I didn't know he was going up the pass. But I should have known. We couldn't escape. So I hid the plates in the loft. And that picture of her? You hid that too? I used best pasta. But no good. And even he did what he thought best. Poor man. What? He shot her. Shot her? Who? How could he? You're as mad as they said. He shot her and put her in a glass case. The lady. But you must not fail. She's terrible in the loneliness and the pain. You are lord to the valley now, as I was. A lord must look to his people. Me? That's a pretty bad joke from where I am. No, you are the heir. In blood. Heir. That's a good word, that is. Heir to what? Don't tell me. Here's all I'll ever see of my father. I'm an heir right enough. Heir to Bertram's brake blocks. No, no, boy, you are wrong. You are lord in blood to that valley after me. I am your father. You did not know? She never told me. She never. And she did that to you. She did that. It was my ending. Mustn't grumble, I suppose. We've had a fair crack, but it's set in for the day now. Your mother said it was too bright to last at breakfast. Why, stay in bed. You're not missing much. There's nothing wrong with me. Mummy's a fusser. I'll get up when you've gone. Well, that was a nasty temperature you cooked up out of nowhere last night. You were quite light-headed for a bit. Was I? What did I say? Mm. Nothing. Well, you went on and on about meeting somebody in the stables. Your mother was very upset. Did I? Yes, you did. So don't overdo things today, my lady. Oh, don't call me that. Steady on. You see what I mean? You're up and down like a yo-yo. What's the matter, eh? Really nothing. Sorry. You go and do the shopping with Mummy, and I'll make you both a super table decoration for dinner tonight. What about that? Hmm? Bless you. Well, cheers. All right, to come in. Just a minute. Okay. Haven't you uh, done that one already? I tore it up. It was overexposed. Oh. 
Well, is that one any better? Not much. Want anything from the shops? No, thanks. I notice your boots and anorak are back in the cloakroom. And did you see the state they're in? Wet through and plastered with muck. He's not even had the decency to clean them. Oh, I'll fix it. You've only got to tell me the size. Look, you needn't get a new lot unless, unless it makes you feel better. Now, knock it. We don't carry squabbles over till the next day in this family. You know that. A clean slate every morning, right? You're the boss. How's Ali? Oh, she's in top form. Must have been one of these summer chills. She'll be up and about as soon as... The coast's clear. Oh, you wait. You'll find out women can be the very devil. Ah, yes. Well, I wouldn't know, would I? I can't judge. No, you can't. Well, that's all right, then. Look, what's the matter? Nothing. You go and do your shopping, Dad. I've done my best for you. You can't ask for more than that. I hoped you'd understand. When I'm old enough. Well, what's up? Nothing. Growing pains? You what? It's a phase we all go through. I feel as if I could put a bomb under this house. Well, why not come with Margaret and me and spend the day out? No, thanks. I couldn't stand trailing around the shops either. Well, I can't say I blame you. Look, if it is as bad as all that, then we'll... we'll go home. I wanted to have a holiday, not a ruddy breakdown. Perhaps it's the weather. Well, it could be. I mean, it just could be. And these hills get you down a bit, don't they? Look, uh, I don't think it's healthy for you to be stuck down here on your own all day. If you won't come out with us, I know. Why don't you try to force that door we saw up near the stables? I have an idea it was a rat we heard in there yesterday, and we don't want to be doing with that now, do we? Then, when I get home tonight, well, the two of us could go ratting, eh? Yes, Dad. Sure, it's a good idea. That's the ticket. OK. We'll do that. All right, I'll see you. See you. Why not? Of course. Now then. 